My quest to hack lightning has brought me to one of the most lightning-prone areas in the world, Telluride and Mountain Village, Colorado. A resort area nestled in the Rocky Mountains, where the public transit system is supposedly protected by a unique lightning prevention technology. The people here at Telluride Mountain Village have been outstandingly friendly and welcoming in giving us a lot of this great, unlimited, exclusive access here to the gondola and these uh, lightning elimination systems. In fact, we're going to get a, a shot now to go up to uh, an area that most people would never get to see. So come on, we're going to sneak up there. Whee! Ugh. That exceedingly steep ladder leads us up here to the upper terminal. Now up here, as you can see, this is all the machinery that makes the gondola run. It's the motors and all the pulleys and the winches and everything else. It's an amazing system. But then you, you step out here on the sliding glass doors here in the upper terminal, and it's a whole different world. Behold, the splendor of the Rockies. This is a view everybody who works here says they never get tired of. Let me draw something to your attention. You see here on this tower, up on the top of that, there's a structure. It looks kind of like a, an umbrella made out of barbed wire. You'll find one of those on top of every one of these towers and on top of this terminal building itself. What is it? It's part of a lightning elimination system. It's what stops all of these structures from being hit by lightning. The devices they put on these towers apparently mess with the tiny charged particles in the air around them, supposedly creating a less attractive target for a lightning strike. Now, we're here because of this great, you know, uh, lightning protection system, which apparently works terrifically well, and I believe that. But let's just bear in mind, if that lightning protection system didn't work, or if it were, for example, just an elaborate joke that the crew of Hacking the Planet was playing on me, then I am standing what, on what is, in effect, a gigantic lightning rod. Since lightning occurs almost everywhere, and most people don't get struck, we don't always appreciate the damage lightning can do. About a third of the costly power outages the East Coast experiences every year are due to lightning strikes. And getting struck can be deadly. So a lightning hack that offers more protection would be really valuable to all kinds of critical areas. We have gone to the top of the highest mountain we could find. We have erected this tall steel tower on top of it. We put a bunch of electrical equipment in there and we put me on this as well. So I'm thinking of having like a whole series of t-shirts printed out in connection with Hacking the Planet. Like we'd start off with this one that says, I did not get struck by lightning at the Mountain Village Gondola. I think if John isn't in the hospital by the time Hacking the Planet is done filming, then we didn't try hard. Hacking the Planet, premiering Thursday, February 28th at 8 on the Weather Channel.